Salute omnes, this is I'm Amelia, also known as the Martian Geek. And I think from now on, I might have to stop the video in the middle of something. I'm not really even gonna, no, I'm not gonna bother with my farewell greeting on the previous one. I mean... Whatever. Not all that necessary, I guess. I mean, I'll still go ahead and go through the steps when I'm, like, actually at the end of a world or something, but... Uh, that was more long-winded than I meant it to be. Okay, so this question mark block... is kind of a pain to get. Because you have to land on the other end of that seesaw, and you, it flings the bomb, well, you can see it in action once I actually get it. But the problem with it is, it's kind of hard to land on such a small target, and if you miss, you have to climb all the way back up. I think the key is to note that the end is exactly two spaces away from the edge of this platform. Ah, phooey. So, try to make your jump land exactly two spaces away. And these bob bombs respawn each time, so... Easy enough to avoid, or you can just fight through them every time, but... Whatever. There we go. Found a masher! And it hits Mario on the head. But now we can equip it. I'm still used to the... Super... or Paper Mario controls. Yes. We shall make some monster mash. Of course, even if you actually succeed, you still have to walk all the way back up. Blah. Okay. Red hat guy, yellow hat guy, eye patch guy, monkey guy, glasses guy, booster guy. I didn't mean to do that, but let's demonstrate. Actually not. Thunderbolt. Man, this attack should at the very least cost more than 2 MP. I mean, as much as I love Thunderbolt, it's just... like, too easy to abuse. Is there a term for that when something's, like, not exactly a game-breaker, but just really easy to abuse? Well, it's that loud noise outside. Check out Booster Pass. Like the Jewel Satellite in Mega Man 9. It wasn't really a game-breaker, but... Man, you could rip through a lot of stuff with that thing. And if you go behind these curtains... Voila! You are now 8-Bit Mario! Complete with music. If you try to exit the room, Mario dies and becomes small and then turns back to normal, apparently. You can only do that once, and that's the only place in the game you can do it, but it's kind of a fun, uh, neat little easter egg there. Say hello to my cute little thunderbolt. Let's see if it actually works on these orb users. That would be a no. And we get to witness the power of the masher. Watch it mash things. I don't care if they call that a spookum, it's a sniffit. It's most definitely a sniffit. Also, is it mana is it mana or mana? Oh hey, Bowser leveled up. One HP, two attack, or one magic attack. Easy choice there. Is it properly pronounced mana or mana? 
I'd always assumed the former pronunciation, but after I heard my one of my anthropology professors use the latter, I'm not so sure. And no, he doesn't play video games. We are talking about some tribal society. But whatever. Okay, Bowser's unarmed attack is kind of a pain to time. The masher is easy enough. Hello, Spookum. Or Sniffit, or whatever the he heck you're called. I mash you! Gotta fight at least one of these things. I believe these things have high defense. They're probably fairly weak to magic at attacks, actually, so... High attack, too. Yeah, let's see how well Thunderbolt fares against these things. Pretty well, apparently. 162 damage? Interestingly, you actually don't get to fight this guy. Um, nice weather we're having. <laughs> apparently you can talk to him, though. I didn't realize that. I can't remember the... Oh, I think they are. Yeah, the marionette guys are immune to Thunderbolt too, so... Not immune to Masher, though. Hmm. Four enemies? I'm not too worried about using up all my MP because I have all those flower tabs saved up. And Mario leveled up as well. Level 12. We get 3 HP, or 2 attack, or 1 magic attack. Let's go with the regular attack. Oh no, one ba bomb I'm so scared. Something symbolic about that. Save point. And now we have three stars and are at level 12. In Booster Tower. Take a look at Booster's family portraits in order from the oldest to the youngest. Remember what order they were in over there? The other portraits downstairs, red hat guy, yellow hat guy, eye patch guy, monkey guy, glasses guy, and booster guy. And we get the elder key, which allows this room to be opened. It's a chomp, a chain chomp. They gaze into each other's eyes. Hmm. Mario, she's a bit shy. Look the other way, will ya? You can turn around now. She says she's been locked up ever since she took a bite out of Booster. So now she wants to help us stir up a little trouble. Mwahaha! Got a chomp. 
That's a chain chomp. But whatever. Bowser's first item increases the attack from 90 to 100. Is there anything up here? You never know when there might be an invisible block or something. There's a non-invisible one. That's totally against the laws of physics, but whatever. There's an invisible block. Okay. Can't get up there. At least it'll hit two of them. I haven't actually seen those marionette things attack yet, so... I don't know why that thing's called Drain, but... And I failed to time the hit, so... And apparently those guys don't like physical attacks much. 196. And Mallow reaches level 12. Three points of additional attack. Okay. Let's actually take that guy out first this time. I didn't time those that symbol attack correctly, did I? Check out what Bowser has for, uh, no. Terrorize. What it basically does is creates a ghost that scares enemies. It inflicts the fear status on them, which decreases their attack and, and defense and everything by one half. Which really is not all that useful, honestly. I mean, the few enemies you actually fight long enough for that to be useful. Oh, hey, Gino levels up too. The few enemies you'd actually fight long enough for something like that to be useful, like bosses, tend to be immune to it. So... Pretty much standard fare for status and effect inducing spells, I suppose. Yeah, that's what a properly timed hit against the Remo Khan will do. Not sure if I timed that correctly either, but... And no thanks, I don't need to double my forms. Ah, dang it. I hope I don't have to face the snippets again. And it looks like I do. Fail. Yeah, isometric platforming. I'm not a fan of it. Hello, Sniffit. I haven't seen the orb user attack yet either. So, let's see what happens if you let it get away with stuff. Wow, a properly timed hit from that thing can do wonders. And it decided to heal itself 78 HP, even though... As far as I know, it can't go beyond maximum, and its maximum is 15. Brilliant! Is there anything over here? Frog coin. Yes, where the heck am I? Oh. So we're nearing the top of Booster Tower. 
And then there's this room. Lots of goodies in here. But watch out because there are enemies that pop up. And they're fast little corpse too. And I believe these guys are also immune to magic, or at least they have a high magical defense. But like their cousins, the Podoboos, which are known as Sparkies in this game, they don't have very good physical defense, so... I just wander around this whole room and take them all out if need be. Yeah, keep using the drain that attack that takes off a whole one hit. One HP. And no thank you. Uh, just a sec, I need to do something. Yeah, system update. There's a postpone four hours option, but there's no postpone until I shut the computer down option, sadly. So... Whatever. And your Mega Drain Mega missed me, so... Two sixty-two, eh? Ah, uh, no thanks. You get a lot of frog coins in here if you want. I don't think you actually need the key to get out of the room. I think the key is just for um getting to the other door. Wow, three misses in a row? I see why they call it Mega Drain. It's done more damage than any other attack I've come across so far, I think. Still not that much, but... I'm actually not sure if these enemies respawn if you leave the room and come back. I already defeated that one, but maybe that'll be the last one. Okay, I'll go ahead and do it this time. I had a 1 in 3 chance of getting it, so... Oh, do they just randomly appear? Too bad there isn't a multi-party or multi-enemy physical attack. Yeah, any enemy that has high magical defense, you're pretty much gonna have to resort to killing one at a time. Okay, yeah. Found zoom shoes. So I'm guessing that the normal route is the other door. And another drain. Huh. 
didn't quite time that one right, but whatever. Or that one. Bowser's attacks seem hard to time in general. Okay, Mario already has an accessory, but let's see if the... Zoom Shoes... Only increases defense. Speed up by 10. I.e. Um, your attacking speed goes up. See, now Mario attacks first. Eerie Jig. And I don't know what that was supposed to do. Probably inflict fear, but... He used it on somebody who had a pin, an accessory that prevents that, so... Let's get this Jester out of here first. Attack a chomp with a chomp. Amusing. Experiment with the timing on some of Bowser's attacks. Chugga chugga. No, oh, chugga chugga honk. This is my personal railway. I don't have a clue what kind of voice I should do for Booster, so I'll just use my normal one. Eh? My, it's you again! I'm amazed you made it this far. Yes, quite amazing you are. Since you're here, maybe you could clear up something for me. My bride-to-be is chanting, Mario, help me! Mario, help me! Is she showing her happiness? Uh, what do you think? Hey, wait a second, maybe Mario is another guy! What if you're this Mario she keeps talking about? Trying to take my bride away? Why don't you take this instead? Interesting. I don't know if that actually does you any that does anything but So yeah now you get some bob bombs to fight and farm from if you want More thunderbolt more thunderbolt No I don't don't need to double my coins. He's gone? That's not fair! I'm so hurt, I only wanted to play with him. Yeah, that's why you're throwing bombs at me? Now, what expression should I be wearing at a time like this? Now I remember, I should look like this! Huh? Take out this thing first, because it's immune to magic. And then zap the crap out of the chomps. Okay, so they don't have terribly high magic defense. Nice to know. No. Well, I don't think chain chomps actually show up in very many stages in this game. Another save point. Still in booster tower. For our troubles, we get another frog coin.
Mario, you did come to rescue me! I was so frightened and lonely! But now that you're here... Now that you're here, the door won't open? I think we need Booster Spell to undo the lock on it. Well, what should we do? Aha! Uh -huh. What should we do? Booster is returning, isn't he? I know, hide somewhere and wait to, until he opens the door. You can move freely behind the curtains. Good luck hiding from Booster and his sniffets. Cute little Mario doll in there, up above there. Boss, shouldn't we be concentrating on the girl? Right. Now about the girl in my life, who thinks I should marry her? Well, speak up. A wedding ceremony would make a great party! Ah, party! We haven't had one of those, it could be fun! So, what is a party? Well, you drink punch and eat cake, I think. Hmm, drink punch, eat cake, it sounds complicated. I don't know if I can muster the energy to do it. Let's walk through it once, it's wedding rehearsal time. We will now begin the ceremony with the cute little peach doll. Walk down the aisle with the, hey, someone make her smile, beautiful bride-to-be. Wait! Mario always shows up about now to ruin the fun. You have to take that into consideration, you know. Someone go and get the Mario doll. It isn't here. Of course it's here. You lazy slobs couldn't find water if you were fish. It's behind those curtains. Number one, you go and look. So now our objective is to not be behind the same curtain that he opens. Easy enough when there's just one sniff it. Nope, it isn't here. I wouldn't go and lose my Mario doll, you idiots! Arg! Number two, you look too. If it's one or two. Nope, it isn't here. We can't give up. It's gotta be here somewhere. Number three, it's your turn. So now there's only one safe curtain to hide behind. Wait a minute. This is better than a party. Look out, cause here I come. Wait a second. It's right up there. I found the Mario doll. But we'll never be able to reach it up there. Oh, the sorrow. What am I gonna do? I'm about to lose it. Sniffle. Never. And Mario bravely knocks it down. Goodness, you're so kind. Thank you for getting my doll. I'd like to reward you. Here, take this. And we got an amulet. May happiness follow you wherever you go. Alright, enough is enough. Cancel the rehearsal. We're going on with the show. Here's the password. Whatever your name file was named. Like, uh... Seems to be a problem here. Okay, what does this amulet do for me? Significant increase in all stats? Alrighty. Great item, bad smell. And boss battle music? Nice guy. Wait! You took all the trouble to come here, so stick around! And boss battle comes out of nowhere! 
nice guy and great guy. And apparently nice guy is all but immune to magic attacks. So like most boss battles where you're fighting more than one enemy at once, you want to focus on one of them at a time. I think I heard Knife Guy has fewer HP, so... Also, is it just me or are some of those numbers glitching up? Is that an emulation bug? Come on, brother. Let's thrash him. whoop de doo Actually, I should have thunderbolted him. Well, no, I guess that wouldn't affect the knife guy. Yikes! They're pretty tough! That takes care of one of them. And great guy blows a sleepy bubble. But Mellow comforts with the symbols of destiny. And Bowser gives him a real chomping. Not a difficult boss battle overall. And bye-bye, great guy. Like I said, not a difficult boss battle. But that pretty much finishes off Booster Tower. And Bowser levels up. 3 HP, 1 attack. Or 1 magic attack. Let me go, won't you please? Pretty please? Eh? Hey, where's my bride to be? I wanna play hide and seek too. Yuck, I don't wanna play anything with you. What a poor sport. Well, we really should hurry along. A yummy cake is waiting for us after we climb this hill. Let's go. No, I don't want to marry you. Please let me go. Help, Mario, please help me. Uh oh, it's Mario. We didn't plan on this. Mario, you aren't invited to our wedding. Besides, we still have to have the rehearsal. I'll be happy to race you to the wedding hall, but... Better not get in my way. Ready? And we come to another minigame. Although this one is kind of sad because you can only do it once. Really. This is the Booster Hill track. Need some advice? You can only move left and right and... Left or right and jump. You can't go forward or backward. Touch the sniffets or any of the barrels and you'll fall back. Jump on the barrels or the sniffets to sprint forward. Reach out and touch Toadstool and you'll win flowers. Ready, get set, go. I actually kind of suck at this minigame, so... Yeah, if you're actually good at this, you can get quite a few flower points here. Yeah, I meant to jump on him, not the other way around. Did I mention I suck at this minigame? Thank <laughs> you. 
Well, four isn't bad. So now we're on to the next town, but... I think that's about enough for now, don't you? So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.